Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I want to show you what I found at an antique shop last weekend. My husband and my daughter and I went to our local antique shop um, last Saturday and just to kind of see what they had available. Um, the shop has changed hands and um, the whole inside of the shop has changed a lot. They went through and got rid of a lot of things that were more in the flea market type merchandise and then um, brought in more authentic antiques. Um, so a lot of the quilts, well this shop never had a whole lot of quilts, but um, actually I only saw one other quilt. I only saw one full quilt actually and I didn't see any quilt tops and then I found these and um, if you can see this here this is pattern this design is called a china plate and it's um, a version of a Dresden plate you may also see it called a fancy Dresden plate and there were only five blocks so I bought all five of them and they were priced a little bit higher than what I normally pay for individual blocks but since there were only five um, I went ahead and bought them because that didn't throw me over my budget and um, I brought them home and I soaked them in a, a quilt soap and uh, got a lot of dirt out of them and then I um, let them dr air dry and then I pressed them and I did press them with uh, try just sprinkle them with water and steam um, but they were they were really wrinkled especially the screen fabric so I wound up getting the starch out and uh, spray starched them and so they it kind of got out all of the the wrinkles and right now I'm dealing with little threads that have come loose um, on the back these are hand stitched and what I really like about this is whoever made these went ahead and turned over the raw edges and then um, stitched it down they basted them down so that's going to make my job of hand applicating them to a backing a lot easier so this is uh, my treasure for the week it's been oh, a year you know I can't even remember last time I went to a flea market I think we've gone once over this past summer but that was the first time I had gone since 2017 um, because in 2018 I was you know battling cancer so I didn't do anything I had to stay away from crowds because my immune system was compromised so um, and then last year I just didn't have energy and even now um, the couple of hours we spent in the shop just wiped me out <laughs> so um, I still have to watch out for that but uh, you can see these are 1930s fabrics and um, I think it's just really pretty. I really like this green. Um, but there's one block and they're all a little bit different. I'll show you each one. And I paid $6.95 a block for these. So they are kind of kind of spendy, but you know, this is all hand work and um, it is not a real common block that you see so I was real happy with my find and I like all the all the 30s prints and I don't know that I've ever cro come across you know multiples or duplicates of prints from one find to the next you know I never say oh yeah that print was in such and such block I've never found that they're all different so I'm really uh, pleased. Uh, there's some little clovers. We have some floral prints and plaids. Um, these look like apples. And then these are it's just like a confetti type print. So and some swirls, just lots of pretty fabrics. There's another one. And this is a larger floral. This may be more like a 40s print. It's darker this one and that one. But I don't know for certain. But the majority of these read 1930s to me. So um, I'm going with that. 
and then here's the last one. Now if you go out and you um, buy a vintage top or some vintage quilt blocks, um, I highly recommend going ahead and washing them before you work with them because even though they look clean, like these looked clean when I picked them up, as soon as I put them in the quilt soak and swished them around a little bit, just dirt just came pouring out of them. It, it's, you'll be amazed at how dirty they really are. And it doesn't, they don't necessarily have to have been stored in, a, in dirty conditions, it's just they're old. You know, you know, 1930s was 90 years ago now. So, you know, that's a long time um, for just, you know, normal dust to settle on them and seep into the fibers. So, um, wash them first, it'll be good for your health, it'll be good for the quilt. I used to go ahead and uh, quilt the top first and then wash it, um, but then it got to be where I was realizing that um, the quilting was just stirring up the, the dust and it was making me ill, so um, I, now I always wash them before I do anything with them. And I did notice that the colors did change a little bit, they've brightened up, so it's... Um, really good and there's some there's a little bit of fading on the tips of some of these but I don't know what they were used for if they were used for anything they may have just been sitting in somebody's um, box of belongings somewhere I don't know um, there was no information that came with these they they just had price tags on them and that was it so anyway I am going to be making uh, probably a wall hanging out of them so I'll be got five so that will make a nice size wall hanging or lap quilt and um, I, of course I will show you all of that when I get around to it I'm still working on the um, tessellating star quilt it is all ready to go on the long arm and uh, got the backing and the batting the batting the backing is all pieced together now and ready to go on. I just need to find the time to quilt it. So I hope you enjoyed looking at my newest find and um, I hope you will stick around for when I get ready to start applicating these down and I'll show you that process and I'll show you what I decide to do when I'm ready to quilt it. That may take some time um, before I get around to it but I will document that on video and uh, post it so you can see. So I hope you're having a good day and I thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.